Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, a former Gulfstream Park and Woodbine winner delivers a stylish victory in the Nigel B. Nunes Memorial Cup feature at Jamaica's Caymanus Park. A $200,000 stakes win for Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. at Gulfstream Park in Florida. A 13th stakes win this season at Canada's Woodbine for the evergreen Barbadian top jock Patrick Husbands. And the legend, Frankie de Tory, makes his British racing exit with an emotional champion stakes victory at Ascot. Plus the weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our opening story from Caymanus Park in Jamaica. Saturday's main event, the Nigel B. Nunes Memorial Cup, honoring the late Hall of Famer and 1976 champion trainer, whose sons Anthony and Andrew have also been hugely successful with championship titles in Jamaica and Barbados, and between them, dozens of classic successes. All eyes here on the 13 horse, a shipper from Florida targeting the rich Mute Mile in December, the six-year-old mayor American Tap for her first outing, and favorite with informed Tevin Foster aboard, her trainer Howard Jagai. There's the inside half of the big 15-horse field for the 5 furlong straight sprint. Among the leading contenders in this group, number 2 race car at 8 to 1 odds, 4 Madeline Sunshine at 10 to 1, Duke the 6 horse is the 4 to 1 second favorite. Number 8 Excessive Force who is winless since his massive Mute Mile win last December is at 16 to 1. American Tap number 13 is the 1 to 2 favorite, had the last of her 4 wins in North America in September last year at Florida's Gulfstream Park and fair support for the 15-horse press conference at 8 to 1. A pretty even break for most of the entries on track conditions rated as good, and American Tap the favorite is already from her outside draw, taking control in the hands of Foster, who has more wins in October than any other rider at Caymanus Park. The spread right across the course, and American Tap looks to have that advantage. True Bravado in chase, Luxol just in behind him, press conference near to us. On the far side, a gift from Ben and Ultimate Machine asked to get going, but American Tap seems to be cruising the rider. Now changing his hold, and American Tap has them all off the legs. Ultimate Machine in the middle, a gift from Ben on the far side with Madeline Sunshine, but this American Tap is in full flight and running away from them inside the final 16th. It's American Tap. A smart one, an American tap comes away to win by maybe five over press conference. First outing at Caymanus Park and impressive in her tune-up for the rich December 2 Mute Mile. A fifth lifetime win this for the Canada-bred American Tap, adding to three wins she had at Gulfstream Park in Florida and a win at Woodbine in Canada. A special moment this for winning trainer Howard Jagai. Yes, because of how awesome his mare looked, but also because it marked the first win he has had since the passing in August of his celebrated dad, former jockey, trainer, owner and champion breeder Harry Jagai. It was very, very emotional. Um, it was the first race that I won since my father had passed. Um, you know, there was a split second when I was leading in that I actually looked in the in the club stand, the lower level of, of the club stand, um, where I was actually looking for him at a moment. The performance was good, I think, um, in my humble opinion. It was some good splits, like um, 23, 46, the 58 and two was, was quite satisfying and based on the fact that she, she has not raced in a couple of months and it's the first time on local soil, um, so she has acclimatized well. Last trained in Florida by Jamaican Matthew Williams, Willis Racing Stables American Tap commanding in victory by four and three quarter lengths in the Nigel Nunes as a 1-2 favorite, the winning time for five furlong straight, a pretty quick 58 and two fifths of a second. Now to Florida's Gulfstream Park, where American Tap raced 13 times and had three wins. No race on Saturday's card richer than the $200,000 Suzanne's Girl Stakes. And you may need just one guess to name who won it. And if you said Gulfstream Park champion trainer Savage Joseph Jr., you are right. His entry, R. Harper Rose, was the 1-5 to five favorite under jockey Edgar Zass. And they made it gate to wire, watched by Pete Ayello in the come box. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. R. Harper Rose trying to carry her speed. She swings for home, two and a half on top. Second is Fields of Green. Third is Honey Dijon. The rest are not of consequence. There's an eighth of a mile to go. With her ears up, R. Harper Rose still rolling. She's three on top with just an eighth to get. Second is Fields of Green. Third is Honey Dijon. They come past the 16th pole. R. Harper Rose is a bay bullet, and she'll win going away in the end. 13 stakes wins in North America now in 2023 for Safi Joseph. The Barbadians are Harper Rose, undefeated in three starts. Safi remains number 12 on the trainer's list in all of North America with his horse's earnings now topping 
8.72 million US dollars. Our Harper Rose by a comfortable four lengths wins the Florida Star Stakes Series Susan's Girl Stakes. 1 minute 25.35 seconds. She went for the seven furlong trip. One of three weekend wins for Joseph, who also had a win Saturday at Belmont at the Big A. No trainer from a CARICOM country has had as big an impact on North American racing as Safi Joseph Jr. has, in the same way that fellow Barbadian Patrick Husbands is the most successful rider CARICOM has placed on the North American circuit. Husbands has 3,616 wins in Canada and the USA, including 363 stakes victories. His latest coming in Sunday's Eternal Surge Stakes on turf at Toronto's Woodbine. And it wasn't easy aboard the favorite fashionably fab on the outside. He had to outgun a stout inside challenge from Breathing Fire with Emma Jane Wilson. Breathing Fire and Fashionably Fab still the top two. Taquania's coming on well. Pleasures Goldie inside. Down the outside, Trading Bay. On the rail, Breathing Fire. Fire joined by Fashionably Fab coming at them to Quania and out wider. Talk to you later. Fashionably Fab breathing fire and finishing down the outside of the track. Still out wide. Talk to you later. A battle up front. Fashionably Fab breathing fire. Neck and neck. Stride to stride. And Fashionably Fab in a head bob with breathing fire. Husband's brilliant in topping Canada's best woman rider, Emma Jane Wilson. Fashionably Fab with five lifetime wins now, three of them in stakes races. She scores in the Eternal Cert Stakes by a nose for trainer Kevin Attard as the 5-2 favourite over the 9-2 bet Breathing Fire, covering the 7.5 furlong turf race in 130.67. Finally now to the famous Ascot racetrack in the UK, where approximately 30,000 fans turned out on British Champion Stakes Day, dubbed the Frankie de Torre Farewell as a legendary jockey closed out his European career to ride in the USA next year. And my word, didn't they get their money's worth in the day's main event, the £1.3 million Kipco Champion Stakes. Watch as the 52-year-old Tory in the purple and white silks is about to bring the favourite King of Steel from last to first in the 10 furlong event. Here Sestina tries to keep closer in company with Horizon Door. Heads a turn for home and Royal Rhyme goes to my Prospero. Bay Bridge on the outside, Horizon Door and Bia Sestina now loom up. King of Steel is pulled towards the outside. A furlong and a half to go. Horizon Door and Bia Sestina are locked together. Behind these Royal Rhyme, King of Steel, Point Lonsdale rallying. It's Bia Sestina, the fair who takes it up for Rasheen Murphy. King of Steel down the outside to Frankie Dettori with half a length to find. 100 yards to go. King of Steel on the outside. A Bia Sistina, a certain inevitability. Absolutely insane. What a day. How can finish in my last ride winning the champion stakes at Ascot? I still have to piece myself. An unforgettable moment this, among those watching owner Amo Racing's Kia Jurabchian, a top-flight football agent who guided the careers of Carlos Tevez, Philip Coutinho and others, almost at a loss for words. I'm sorry, I'm so emotional. Frankie, you know, the King of Ascot, King of Steel, you know, he deserved that. What a ride, what a ride. You know, you know, why is he retiring? <laughs> King of Steel under Frankie de Torre's superb ride wins the champion stakes by three quarters of a length over the 11-2 shot Via Sistina for trainer Roger Varian and owners Ammo Racing 208.42 the winning time for 10 furlongs. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada before we go. I've counted in the past week since our last show, 33 wins. Among them, the Barbadian rider Rashawn Latchman with three wins at Charlestown in West Virginia. Another Barbadian rider, Antonio Whitehall, had two wins, including a stakes tramp at Central Downs, where the Jamaican veteran Trevor Simpson also had two wins. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.